Hey, Lazar here from Chakra UI. So Chakra UI is a React component library with built-in accessibility. It gives you all of the building blocks you need to develop your web app. It has a small learning curve, very beginner-friendly, and also easy to style. So without further ado, let's get started. To make it simple, we'll create a new Next.js app. Now let's cd into it and add the Chakra UI packages. To make sure we're on the right track, let's run the yarn dev and see the results. All right, this is good. Now let's configure Chakra UI. Let's open the project in Visual Studio Code. To add Chakra UI, let's open up the pages directory and create a new underscore app.tsx page. Let's create our top level app component. Now let's make sure we got it right. Awesome. Now let's add the Chakra Provider. The Chakra Provider component wraps your website with a context containing the Chakra theme, color mode functionality, CSS reset, global styles, and even more. In short, it initializes Chakra UI into your website. If we go back to our app, we will see that the UI has changed. And this is good. This means that Chakra UI has been initialized successfully. All right, let's play around and build a simple login screen. But first, let's switch back to VS Code and do a cleanup. That looks good. Now let's build the login screen. We can start by adding a flex component that will wrap our whole layout. So we will import flex from Chakra UI React. We will add a hundred viewport height to it. We will align the items in center and also justify the content in the center. So this will be the wrapper. Let's now add a second flex component. This will be the box around the login form. So this flex will have a direction of column, we'll add a background of gray 100. Let's add some padding and make it rounded. All right, inside we can add a heading component with the text log in and also add a margin bottom of six. All right, now let's add the inputs. The first input would be the email input. We'll set the placeholder. We'll set the variant to be filled. We'll add a margin bottom of three. And we'll set the type to be email. Now also add the second input. The placeholder can be just simple asterisks. We will also use the variant field. We'll set the margin bottom of six and set the type to passwords. And of course, we're going to need a button with a text of login and we will set the color scheme to teal. So let's see how that looks like. Awesome. All right, let's take it to the next level and implement dark mode. First, let's expand this component. There we go. Now let's import use color mode from Chakra UI. This will give us a toggle color mode method that we can use. And to make things simple, let's add another button with the text of toggle color mode and the onClick method will use the toggle color mode method that we get. Now let's also add a margin bottom of six. There we go. Now we have dark mode, but there's an issue. The form still uses the light gray background. So let's fix that. Let's import 
use color mode value from Chakra UI and create the form background using that hook. And for the light theme, we will set the background to be gray 100. And for the dark theme, we will set the background to be gray 700. Now, using this form background that we have, let's replace the second flex background with it. And there we go. Now the form is correct. And now you saw how easy it is to build your UI using Chakra UI. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.